Time for a beer. <coughs> 1845. A bit early. It's not even five o'clock yet, never mind quarter to seven. Now this I think is a bottle condition nail, so I'm going to be a bit careful pouring it out. Because I have stuffed up a few on camera. Well, the bottle's got a nice <coughs> shoulder. So hopefully, if the sediment does shift, it should catch in the shoulder. Right, I'll leave that there. I might push my muck. Not muck too bad, a bit hazy. So, Fuller's 1845. First brewed in 1995 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of Fuller, Smith & Turner. This bottle condition recipe is inspired by the original Fuller's Brewing Books. I think I've had this on camera before, I'm not sure now. It smells beery. Oh, that's nice. Very hoppy. Long multi finish. It says it's bottle conditioned, matured for a hundred days, and it's three point sorry, six point three percent alcohol by volume. That's a very nice beer. Mm. So. Put an idea to you. <coughs> it's not long since the Olympic Games finished, and now we've got the Paralympics clogging up the telly. And I'm not sure why we have the Paralympics. And these athletes, these sportsmen and women, are the best in the world at what they do. But we give them a separate Olympics away from the mainstream one. Doesn't seem right this day and age, that, to me. Why don't we just have the Olympics? See, the mainstream Olympics already recognises that to have a fair competition, you can't expect everybody to compete against everybody else. That's why we have men's events and women's events. Because different physiology has different advantages or disadvantages. So why don't we just have the Olympics and there'll be men's events for people who aren't disabled and men's events for people who are and women events, women's events for people who aren't disabled and women's events for people who are and team events. Same. It just seems that it's a bit of an, a bit of a throwback idea that the disabled sports people should be treated differently. You'd think they'd be sick of that by now. Anyway, what do you think? Are you a disabled athlete? Do you know any disabled athletes? Maybe, by and large, the disabled athletes prefer having their own separate Olympics. It just seems odd to me. Get everybody in together. That's what I say. Now, the main business of today's video is a knife review. Well, another of the knives sent to me by Forty Belowful. And this is a GEC knife in the North Field unexcelled branding. It's the 92 Talon. It's a lovely, lovely knife. Very generous gift. Well, it was 
part of a box full of very generous gifts. So a big thank you to Forty Belowful and let's have a look at this cracking little knife. Okay so this is how the knife came in the Northfield unexcelled tube. Hammer tested, frozen forged, 1095 carbon steel. And on the end there we've got the handwritten label, the model number 920116 and this one is in Gobillo wood which I don't mind admitting I've never heard of. As we're going to see though, Gobillo wood is really rather handsome. So the knife is wrapped in the usual heavy greaseproof paper and there we have it. So what exactly do we have? Single blade slip joint. We've got this is Gobillo wood is quite a ready heavily figured wood. I'm assuming it's a tropical hardwood. Lovely colours and swirls in the grain. From bolster, four pins on each side. These two pins are flat and smooth and these two pins are domed and recessed. And then we've got the oak leaf badge there. A bit of detailing on the bolsters. Single back spring, because it's a single blade. And brass liners. So the nice shape, lovely sort of sway back or with a swell along the back edge. Ow, bastard. Um, half stop, we like half stops. And it clicks nicely and positively into place. No blade play, nice and solid. Lots of fingerprints on the polished blade. So we've got this long swooping Warncliffe, completely straight cutting edge. Nail nick on that side, none on that side, but swedge for about three quarters of the length. We've got tang stamps on here, Northfield one excelled, made in USA. This side we've got the model number, 920116. Northfield Unexcelled, of course, is one of the brands produced by Great Eastern Cutlery. So it's a very elegant knife. Quick run through the specs. Handle length of 3.5 inches, 90mm thereabouts. Blade length, tip to bolster two and ooh, seven eighths about 73 mil and then a cutting edge of two and five eighths about 68 so if you put that side by side with the Victorian Ox Spartan we can see it's slightly longer overall but a lot more slender. Now this is um, just about legal to carry in the UK, the sub three inch blade. It's quite a light knife. We'll get on the scales. So in grams, just weighs 46 grams, which in English is about one and two thirds of an ounce. So if you compare that with the Spartan, that's over two ounces. So it is a lovely, lovely knife. As I say, it's very elegant. The fit and finish is perfect, I would say. Everything is flush. Everything is smooth. Where we've got the crest on the back there, it's nicely contoured. Blade is near enough centred, not quite, but near enough. I 
and we've got the Northfield unexcelled etching on the blade there. I'm not a massive fan of etching on the blade, but that's not too over the top. It's reasonably subdued. Let's see what the edge is like. Now, I don't know if this is the factory edge. I don't know if it's been used or sharpened or what. So we're just having a play. So I would describe that as ordinary everyday sharp. It's certainly not knife nut sharp. And it's certainly not as sharp as it will be once I've had to play with it. But it's serviceable. It's not bringing, highlighting any chips or flat points on the edge, so I don't envisage there being a lot of work to do. Just a tickle. So that is pretty much it. It's a lovely, slim, elegant, very well made slip joint pocket knife. And I like it a lot. So we'll crack on with the slideshow and you can have a closer look.